Alright, so this video is going to be part one of our convergence and divergence of series problems, okay? So, really, I'm just going to be taking you through this, this kind of checklist, I guess, when trying to prove if a series is convergent or divergent. We're going to do be, be doing a bunch of examples. I'll probably, I'll try to at least have like 10 videos up or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, so we want to prove the series is convergent or divergent. We have our series up here, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 2 to the n over n cubed. Okay, now the first thing to ask yourself is, is this something that I don't need to really use a test for? Is this like a p-series or a geometric series? And of course, looking at that, we know that, that, is, that it's not a p-series and it's not a geometric series as well. So, we have our, our d, right? Our first... Um, our first letter of Diclar, okay, our first test, that's the divergence test, okay? So we need to see if this is divergent by the divergence test. We take the limit as n approaches infinity of 2 to the n over n cubed, all right? That's just the divergence test. Now, is this limit going to be zero? Well, you see here that we have an n cubed, an n cubed is going to be larger than 2 to the n, okay? Just think about it, if you put a 5 in here, okay, you put a 5 in for n, 5 cubed, that's 125, and 2 to the 5th power, well, 2 to the 3rd is 8, 2 to the 4th is 16, 2 to the 5th is 32, okay? So, obviously, you're going to see here that this is going to equal 0. Now, what about the integral test, okay, or i? What could could we maybe do some kind of integral here? Well, the reason why that's not going to work is because I mean you're not going to be able to integrate the integral from one to infinity of two to the x over x cubed, right? That's that's a little that, that doesn't seem like something we can integrate. So we're going to put an x there. Now next, could we do a comparison test? Well, if we were going to compare it to anything, it would be to the the p series one over n cubed, right? We would just have 2 to the n over n cubed, and we would compare that to 1 over n cubed, okay? And of course, 2 to the n over n cubed, that, that numerator is greater, so it's going to be a greater than sign, but we know that 1 over n cubed, the, the series, the sum from uh, n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n cubed, that diverge, or that converges, and this being greater than 1 over n cubed, well, that's going to do nothing for us, okay? So, really this isn't going to help us at all okay so we're not going to be able to do a direct comparison test now what about the limit comparison test usually when the comparison test doesn't work like this right when we have uh you know two to the n over n cubed is, is similar but it's not it's not the right um sign here okay if it was less than that would be something we could work with so we can usually do the limit comparison test with the limit comparison test is going to have us do is do the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n. Now our a sub n, okay, that's just this 2 to the n over n cubed piece, and our b sub n is what we're comparing to, so that's 1 over n cubed, okay? Now we take that limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, 2 to the n over n cubed, we put that over 1 over n cubed, our b sub n. You can, of course, see that our n, cubed, n cubes will cancel out. And you're just left with the limit as n approaches infinity of 2 to the n. And, of course, we know that's going to be an infinite answer. So we're not going to be able to use a limit comparison test. Okay, because for a limit comparison test to work, this needs to be a finite answer. Okay, so... Now, what about an alternating series? Well, that's not what we have here, so we can already cross that off. That's not something that we're dealing with here. We have ratio test. Is ratio test going to be something that we'll be able to do here? Well, we take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. Okay? And then we need to see what that limit is going to be equal to. If it's less than one, then we know it's convergent. If it's equal to one, it's inconclusive. If it's greater than one, it's divergent. So let's keep going here. The limit as n approaches infinity of the 
absolute value of a sub n plus 1, we're just going to plug in an n plus 1 for n. We get a 2 to the n plus 1 over, get this out of the way here, 2 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 quantity cubed over 2 to the n over n cubed. All right. Now we just got to get this all into one fraction here. We get the limit as n approaches infinity of this is going to be now a 2 to the n plus 1. All right, we can get rid of these uh, absolute value signs because we don't have anything negative in here that the absolute value signs need to work with. So we get a 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n. And that's going to be multiplied by an n plus 1 cubed or no, sorry, n cubed over n plus 1 quantity cubed. Now looking at this limit here, you have 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n, and if you subtract the exponents because these are being divided, you're just going to get 2, okay? So you'll get a 2, this will be 2 times something. And you see here, you're going to get an n cubed over, when you distribute this out, okay, you will get a n cubed, right? We know we're going to get an n cubed out of this, and then you're going to have plus a bunch of stuff, okay? And that bunch of stuff doesn't matter because when you use L'Hopital or you divide everything by n cubed or whatever, all that other stuff kind of goes away, and all you care about is the coefficients on the n cubed on top and bottom, okay? Since they're both going to be 1, okay, since you'll get an n cubed over n cubed plus whatever, and the coefficients are both 1, you will just end up with a 1 here because of your limit, okay? So that's going to give you 2, and 2 is greater than 1, so this diverges by the ratio test. Now we have our next problem up on the board here. We want to prove that the series is convergent or divergent. We have the series, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of n cubed plus 2n. Now, we can start off with our d, right? We know this isn't a geometric or, pow or, or p series, so we can just go right to our, our checklist, okay? d, divergence test. We can do that here, the limit as n approaches infinity of this, this 1 over the square root of n cubed plus 2n. Okay, and you can see, of course, here that you're going to get an infinitely large denominator. This will be equal to zero, so the divergence test will tell us nothing. Now, could we do an integral test? It seems like this would be pretty hard to integrate, so I'm going to say no. Now, could we compare this to anything? Well, we could just get rid of this 2n right here, and then we basically have a p series. Okay, so. Let's do that. We compare it to, bring it down here, 1 over, we have a 1 over the square root of n cubed plus 2n. We can compare that to 1 over the square root of n cubed. Okay, just get rid of that 2n, like I said. Now, if you're taking something away from the denominator, okay, this denominator is bigger than this one, which means that this whole fraction is bigger than this one. Okay, so that means that we're going to have this sign here. Okay, now 1 over n cubed, or 1 over the square root of n cubed, another way of writing that is 1 over n to the power over root, right? So that's 3 over 2. All right, that is a p series. Okay, p is going to be greater than 1 here. So we know that this converges. Okay, and since this converges and it's greater than this, that means that this converges as well. Okay, so this is convergent by the comparison test. And that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!